Hello friends, this is Model Fun, and today I have this Tamiya Zero in 130 second scale for you. It's Japanese by all means, the best and most famous Japanese fighter by the best and most famous Japanese model making company. Today's video I will have a look what's in the box, also present some features of the completed model for you as it has some fancy things like retracted landing gear for example and I want to share also my thoughts after the build what's great about it what's good what's not so good so let's start The box is colorful with two marking options on the side and a few reference photos on the other side. Inside the first thing is the cardboard form. This is designed to put the completed model inside for transport or storage if needed. The instruction is in a plastic bag, decals, masks and seat belts are in separate one. And later we have frames with plastic parts together with a display stand and two pilot figures. and another smaller box. Let's open the small box first. A lot of different things is in the box. Separate engine cowls, metal landing gear, rubber tires and brake hoses, antenna wire, some screws, springs and o-rings, metal shafts and gun barrels, small screwdriver and grease, photo etched parts and small metal elements for landing gear covers. The instruction manual is black and white, starts with the history of the aircraft, shows also its modifications and biggest opponent, Grumman Hellcat. Later, there is a technical note about different type of paints and painting techniques. All steps are very well presented, color references are provided even for small parts, and besides the basic instruction, there are also the tech tips. Very nice addition, not only for beginners. At the end, there is even better surprise, as Tamiya included real pictures of the aircraft for reference. Such a pity they are not in color, but still, it's a very nice touch. Going further, there are marking options and list of parts. But it's not all. Few separate pages with steps for gun barrels and pitot tube and also additional marking. I guess these are new features that were not included in previous versions of the kit. There is also an instruction how to build the storage box for the completed model.
All plastic parts are perfectly molded. Fuselage and wings with all details look sharp and just perfect. A silver color plastic sprue holds all parts for the detailed engine. Clear parts look excellent. Decals have nice colors. Seatbelts printed on the sticker. This is something I see for the first time. Oh well. PE buckles, photo edged buckles are included for them, I'll see how it works later. One last thing is the canopy mask, very nice that it's included in the kit. This Tamiya original kit was released in year 2000. The version you see is the latest evolution of it and was released in 2007. It is not the cheapest kit on the market for sure, but in return it provides everything a modeler needs to build a detailed model, and a few extra features that are worth to mention. An option to put the model on a display stand in flying position. The display stand can be removed, but first I have to detach the fuel tank. A landing gear can now be opened. We have two keys for that. I use the black key to unlock the wheel. Ailerons and flaps move, as well as the rudder and stabilizers. To open the main landing gear, I have to remove the part of the wing. The grey key helps to change the leg position. I put the fuel tank back and the model is on its feet. Landing legs, shock absorbers work more like in some sort of toy, but it's okay. One more part that can be removed is the engine cowls. It is no super easy and I have to be careful, but it can be done with no damage. This way we can display the engine.
It was the best kit I've built so far, with perfect fit and beautiful details. But there are a few things to improve. I will start from points that are good. So first is fit. It's just perfect. And it, it's, it's great because you know that during the build, if something doesn't fit, it's not the kit. It's your fault, your mistake. That's for sure. Second is that the kit has all what's needed, like seat belts, photo etched parts, masks. It is quite expensive, yes, but there is no need to spend extra money on aftermarket parts. Third thing is engineering. Tamiya put a lot of effort to make sure your, you build the kit right. Dummy proof engineering prevents mistakes. For example, if we have two same looking parts, one is going to the right wing and another has to be in the left one. The parts are designed in the way that they only fit where they should and we can't glue them upside down or on the wrong side. The instruction is clear and simple with tech tips and reference photos. Just perfect. What can be improved is first of all decals. I've heard this is a weak point, weak part of Tamiya's um, kits and it, and it truly is. Decals are thick and hard to make them look realistic. Second is color references. Instruction is great but when it comes to colors it is confusing and I think it could have better indication for a specific manufacturer as Nakajima built zeros at different color than Mitsubishi. That's it my friends. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Complete build of this kit you can find on my channel. Link, link is in the description as well. Let me know in the comment what you think. And subscribe if you liked it to support me. Thank you once again.